Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Yoga for Everybody. Uh, my name is Skylar Ramirez, your teacher for today. Let's get started in any easy seated position for your body. So we're going to begin today with a breathing technique commonly done to strengthen the respiratory system, which in return can strengthen your heart. It's called Viloma Krama. Viloma. So um, this breathing technique is also called a stair-stepping breath, and it can be done after an inhale or after an exhale. We are going to do this technique after the exhale. So the breath is done by taking one big breath in, breathing in from the belly, through the ribs, up to the heart, fully filling the lungs. And then you pause at the top of the breath for maybe just a second or two. And then we're gonna exhale in steps. So we're gonna take a little bit of an exhale and then pause, a little exhale, pause, little exhale, pause. And to do this breathing technique, you can do that little pause with a step down anywhere from three to five times, or you could do lots of tiny little steps. This is what it looks like. So I'm gonna take in one big breath, pause, and then I'll do these little miniature exhales. Big inhale. And you can actually see the muscles in my chest. That's the function of the diaphragm muscle um, contracting, moving back up. So when we inhale, the diaphragm muscle comes down, pushing all the organs down and out of the way so the lungs can inflate. And then when we exhale, you'll see that muscle begin to retract. And then the other muscles can also slowly react to that. So again, it looks like this big inhale from the belly through the ribs to the heart. And then exhale. Traditionally, this is done by inhaling through the nose and exhaling from the nose or throat, keeping the lips together. At any time, if you notice that it becomes bothersome to exhale from your nose or to keep your lips together, you can always exhale with a ha. That's just another um, option. So we're gonna do about five to seven of these this morning, experiencing, experimenting with the Velo Makrama technique. I also recommend that you keep your head slightly down. That way the throat stays closed and we don't stretch the muscles or interrupt the energetic flow from the chest up into the throat and the head. So when you're ready, take a moment, sit nice and tall. Relax the shoulders back and down. Let's lower the chin. Maybe just a few easy breaths, noticing the fullness of the breath, breathing down into the belly, through the ribs, up to the heart. Easy exhale. Just a few easy sighs of relief. Let's begin by clearing out the lungs this morning. Another sigh or two with that breath. One more easy breath. When you're ready, let's go through that first cycle of Viloma Krama. Inhale, feeling the belly. Move through the ribs, bring it up to the chest. Pause, hold it here. Now small exhales. Relax, big inhale. Pause, little exhales. Good, relax, big inhale. Pause, little exhales. Relax, inhale. Pause at the top of the breath. Exhale. One or two more, big inhale. Pause, tiny exhales. Inhale. Last one, small exhales. Right, now just relax the whole body. Turn the palms up, 
Roll those shoulders down and back. When you're ready, pull the elbows back. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, press the palms together and pull the hands down through the center of the body. Anjali Mudra, seal of physical reverence. Let's inhale and open, big breath in. Option to look up, stretching the muscles of the throat. Exhale, slowly bring it down and in. Let's do just a couple more like this. So we can always do this with the elbows, like a big morning yawn expression, if that feels better. And then exhale. Notice if your body wants to exhale from the throat. From wherever you are, let's slowly take the hands behind the head. So this can be done from lying down or seated. As you inhale, drop the chin. Pull the ribs forward and up. And then exhale, slowly round the spine and bring the elbows in towards each other, opening up the back of the body and slowly rounding. So if you're lying down, simply peeling the shoulders away from the mat. Inhale, opening up, chin stays down, lifting through the ribs and the heart. And then exhale, slowly pulling forward. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling from the throat, keeping the lips lightly touching, and we may even feel some of that air moving out from the nostrils. Inhaling through the nose, flare out the nostrils. And then exhale. Imagine the elbows and the arms moving like butterfly wings. Inhale, opening up, lightening up with the breath. And then exhale, slowly pulling forward, opening through the back of the body, contracting across the chest. One more. Inhale, open. And then exhale, close. Gentle contraction. Let's all relax the whole body. From wherever you are, come down to lying on your back. From seated, you may, may want to take the knees over to one side from seated. And then use the hands to turn towards the floor, lying down on one side. And from here, we can slowly begin to roll back. From our backs, let's draw both knees in towards the chest, knees to chest position. And while we're here, we can go ahead and roll out the ankles, maybe even point and flex the toes. Let's get some energy moving through the feet, the ankles, and the lower extremity of the body before we put weight on the legs. If you like, experiment with taking the legs up overhead. So you're moving into legs up the wall. Isn't this great? So many times we end our yoga classes with this position, but what happens when you begin a class with this healthy circulating pose, legs up the wall? When you're ready, slowly draw the knees in. Let's see the knees at about hips width, maybe the width of the pelvis. Lower one foot at a time, pressing into your feet. Let's press the hands down. As we inhale, we're just gonna pull the hips away from the floor and flatten through the middle back. Exhale, relax through the pelvis and the hips. A few rocking motions with the pelvis. Inhale, pull up. Open through the chest and the heart, and then exhale, relax the hips down. Option to put the hands on the belly so you feel that rocking action, that tilting of the pelvis. Inhale, push into the feet, pull the hips up, and then exhale, slowly relax and press the pelvis down. Inhale, lift. And exhale, relax. Maybe just a couple more, rhythmically moving with the breath. Now, from wherever you are, take your hands so that you cross them over just gently, crossing the hands over. If you were to lay like the right hand on top of the left hand and have the thumbs out, this is the position that I'm using today. And I'm placing the hands, as I bring them down, they're going to naturally move just a little bit. Place them just over your belly button so you're able to kind of press in and pull up a little bit. Release that tension, pause for a moment. When you're ready, push down just a little bit with the hands and pull up. Holding three, two, 
One, release. Breathe easy. Inhale. Exhale. Pause, press in, push up. Holding three, two, one. Release. Easy breath. Inhale. Exhale. Pause, press in, pull up. Release. Inhale. Exhale with a sigh. Relax the jaw, relax the throat. Press in, pull up. Gentle belly press. This is our technique that we're using to hopefully um, energetically help the body to release stress and stress toxins. Inhale, one last one. Big breath in. Exhale, belly drops. Pause, push in with the hands, pull up just a little bit. And when you're ready, relax. Let's take our arms out to the side. Take the feet out wider than the hips, maybe even as wide as your yoga mat. Let's exhale, sway the knees over to one side, allowing the body to choose left or right. Inhale through center. Exhale, take them over to the other side. Inhaling through center, lungs opening, exhale, twisting, wringing out the lower lungs, wringing out the kidneys. Inhale through center, exhale, twist. Let's try it one more on each side so that you feel that you're able to even out that twist. Once you feel that this is evened out on the left and right, Hold it over so the knees are holding on to one side. Let's peel up our arms and reach in the opposite direction, looking in the direction of your arms. If we're twisting our knees to the right, we're peeling up that right arm. Reach both arms over to the left, looking towards the left as well. When you're ready, bring it through center. Hands are relaxed, knees twisting over to the other side. And if your knees are twisting to the left, take the left arm up. Let's reach both arms to the right, looking towards the hands. Soften the breath in the body, especially in twisting poses. So the breath can feel a little more shallow, a little more soft when we're having to twist the lower parts of the lungs. Let's slowly bring it through center, both arms relax, drawing just the left knee in towards the chest. Option to bring our head up towards our knee, or maybe we add in, pushing into the foot and lifting the pelvis a little bit while we draw that knee in close. Relaxing the head, relaxing the pelvis, relaxing the left leg. Drawing the right knee in. Option to lift the head or not. Option to push into the left foot. Lift the pelvis, just a little bit of a tilt, and then slowly maybe adding in that contraction. When you're ready, relaxing down. Relaxing that leg. Left knee in. Option to keep the head on the ground, no matter where we are. Option to lift, push into that right foot, just a little pelvic tilt. Maybe a little more pressure in the low back and kidneys. Rising up through the head. You could always support your head with a free arm. Slowly relax down. Relax the leg, the hips, evening this up. Last time, moving through the right knee towards the chest holding on behind the leg. You can take that left hand and put it behind the head to support. Maybe pushing into the left foot, lifting the hips just a little more away from the floor. Deep contraction. From here, slowly relaxing the head, the back, the feet. Let's let our feet sway just a little bit left and right, loosening up that low back. Take your time. Come to a still point to reset the hips. Let's reach the arms overhead. Reach from the armpits. Drawing the shoulder blades away from the waist. If you'd like to take more of a restorative fish expression here, 
You can always lower the hands behind the head and the neck for support, and maybe pull the ribs and the belly away from the mat. Let's relax the chin, relax the head, the neck, the ribs. Let your knees sway over to one side. From side line, let's slowly press up. Coming around to find all fours position. From all fours, let's first of all make sure that our foundation is comfortable. So if we have our hands, shoulder, elbow, wrist, we could always use the fist instead of a wrist, um, a flat palm position. So sometimes this helps to take tension out of the wrist. As an alternative, we could even come down onto the floor with the elbows under the shoulders. Um, if you have some yoga blocks, or even if you were to have, let's say a bolster, you could stay on your elbows and you could have that elevation. If you have a chair, you could even use a chair at this point. From wherever you are, as we inhale, let's come into traditional cow dropping the belly, lengthening through the spine, maybe gazing just a little bit forward. As we exhale, pull up from the navel and spine, drop the head and the neck, let's shake the head yes, and turn it left and right. When you're ready, inhale, coming into cow, and then exhale, coming into cat, dropping the head and the neck. One more. Let's find neutral spine. From here, we may want to bring the knees in a little closer. We can even touch the feet if that's more comfortable. Let's walk the hands a little bit out in front of us. If you want to stay a little bit on the fingertips, you can for this to keep the pressure out of your wrist. Maybe take the hands a little wider than your shoulders. Let's bend the elbows, coming down towards the floor. And as you inhale, scoop forward just a little bit and then straighten the arms into a crouching cow. As you exhale, round the spine, pull back through your hips and stretch the arms in front of the body. So it's a lot like cat pose. Um, sometimes we even think of this as a variation on a puppy dog pose. So normally in puppy dog, you have your back flat and your arms up. We're keeping those hips slightly lifted with some rounding in the arms in front of us. From here, going into that crouching cow, bend the elbows, press the hips back, inhale, slide through from the heart, lifting up, straightening the arms, maybe looking up towards the sky with our eyes. And then as we exhale, rounding the spine, and pressing back. And again, you can be fingertip light on this or you can have your palms flat. Inhale, coming forward, elbows bend, crouching down, straightening the arms, and then rolling back. So this movement, as we get, get more familiar with it, can get very slinky, very fluid in nature, almost like an earthworm type movement. Let's try it with the breath. Bending the elbows, inhale, coming forward. Lead with your heart, hips flip back, straightening the arms, rolling through the spine, pushing back. Inhaling forward, straightening the arms, pushing back. Just one more, bending the elbows. So we're drawing into the practice, the element of water. It's an element of fluidity, and it's also a cooling element that we use a lot in the summertime. Let's bring the hands in. Taking your time, let's step one foot forward, and then the other. And we may want to put the hands on the shins or even up on the thighs for support. But it feels right for you. Let's take it all the way up into standing and go ahead and just shake off the body. Right. So from standing, let's take our feet out to any comfortable width and let your body rotate naturally. I'm going to shake it off. So let's bring our body back into a movement that frees up the limbs. 
And it's a movement that's really organic. You see, like, you know, children do this naturally when they are diffusing energy. A lot of times if we tell them, you know, if you can just stand there and be patient, right? And then the kids just kind of go, mm -hmm. So allow your body to do that. This is a way to diffuse energy. When you're ready, come to any still point, shake off the arms and the hands. Uh, let's take the feet out to about hips width or maybe a little wider and cup your hands. Go ahead and take your right arm out, left arm up, and go ahead and just pat down the arms and then the other side of the arm. So we're gonna pat over that arm one time. And now take it to the other side. So take it across, pat on top of the arm, come under the armpit, definitely under this armpit region right here. Just a gentle pat. Let's take the hands over the chest. Take them down the sides of your body. Take it onto the belly. Take it down over the front of the hip, uh, to the inside of the thigh and knee. Tops of the thighs, sides of the thighs, onto the side of the buttocks and low back. Good. And wherever you are, come up to standing. Good. Let's slowly bring the feet into about hip width. As you inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. Exhale, take the arms back and around. Just a few flying arms with that breath. Inhale, reaching up, reaching overhead. Exhale, reaching back and around. One more, inhale, big breath in. And then exhale, back and around. Let's take the arms up and overhead, lace the fingers together, invert the palms, and you can reach it straight up overhead with this armpit stretch, or take it a little bit in front of you for this stretch. From here, lean over to the right, and as you do, maybe bend your left knee. When you do this, pull up from that left armpit. So we're exaggerating a long line of energy running up and down the left side of the body. Let's look over to the right. Inhale up against your upper left lung. Pulling the ribs up and away from the waistline. One more inhale. And now bring it through center, release the hands. Three big inhales. So working on centering before we stretch the other side. Inhale, take it up, and then exhale back and around. Inhale, big sweep. One more. When you're ready, inhale, arms up and overhead. Lace the fingers. Invert the palms, either straight up or a little bit in front of the body. And you can straighten the arms or bend the elbows a little bit. Let's lean over to the left. Notice the comfort in your feet at any time. We can take the feet out a little wider or a little more narrow. Hips width is kind of our, um, our stepping stone. That's a place to begin if we're still getting familiar with um, our bodies in yoga, but you can change it at any time. When you're ready, leaning over to the left, let's bend the right knee. As we bend the right knee, notice we're creating a lot of compression on the left side of the body, exaggerating and opening all of the muscles and connecting tissues on the right. As you inhale, pull up through your right armpit, open up the side of the right lung, maybe look over to the left, exhale from the throat, exaggerating the breath underneath that right armpit, feeling as if the breath slightly pushes up against the ribs, stretching out the tissue through the waist. One more inhale. Exhale, bring it through center. Relax the hands. Let's take the feet out wide, centering the body with the breath again. Inhale, sweep the arms up. This time, let's bring the elbows into the waist, bending the knees, coming into moon flower. Inhale, rising up, five-pointed star expression. Exhale, moon flower expression. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, down. So we can always stay here, or we can take this into a sunflower flow where we hinge from the hips. 
Exhale, we can push the hips back a little bit with a flat back, sweeping the arms in front of the belly, and then inhale, rising up. Resisting the urge to go down to the floor with this, instead focusing on the alignment of a flat back with the arms sweeping dynamically, matching with each rhythmic breath. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, rising up. Let's layer another element into this. As we come up, cross your right arm in front of the left. Exhale, come down. Cross the right arm in front of the left. Inhale, rising up. Let's cross the left arm over the right. Exhaling down, crossing left arm over the right. So let's alternate that mindfully with the limbs. Inhale up, right over left. Exhale down, right over left. Inhaling up, left over right. Exhaling down, left over right. One more set, inhaling up, right over left. Exhaling right over left. Inhale left over right. Exhale left over right. Inhale, bringing the arms up overhead. Exhale, adding in a gentle knee bend. And now add in a gentle twist towards the right. Elbows pulling in and maybe looking over the right shoulder. Inhale, rising up through center. Exhale, bending the knees, adding in a little twist over to the left, elbows still pulling in. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, little twist over to the right, just a very gentle twist and looking over the shoulder. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, gentle twist over to the left. Let's do one more on each side. Inhale up, gentle twist. Big breath in, and then exhale, twist. Inhale, arms overhead, exhale, hands to the heart. Let's step the feet in so that both toes are forward. From here, take just the left toes and turn them out to the side. So at this point, you're welcome to turn sideways on your mat, or you can stay with a narrow stance with the feed may be only as wide as your yoga mat. Let's bend that left knee. Inhale, extend the arms out, turn the palms up, and bend the elbows just a little bit. Let's look over towards the left palm. While you're here, inhale, reach out and up with that left hand, big breath in. Let's lower the right hand down for a casual reverse warrior. At any time, we could pat ourselves on the back. That could take some tension out of the neck. As we inhale at the top of the breath with the fullness of that inhale, pull up and out of that armpit. Let's look back over the right shoulder. Exaggerating the breath in the upper left lung. One more big breath in. When you're ready, exhale, let's take that left hand onto the left thigh and we'll keep that arm straight so we can prop up the chest. So if you feel any rounding at all, this is one way to see it. If you feel like you're rounding at all, straighten your arm so you use that arm to lengthen out the spine. It's like a little, you know, kickstand of support. Let's take our right arm straight up and overhead. Big breath in, option to press it so the bicep is just over the ear. And we might even look down at the floor here. So we're turning the head with gravity, eliminating possibly some unnecessary effort in the pose. Take a moment and think about the energy in your right foot as we look down at the left foot. Feeling the outside of the right foot. We're pressing down and back into that right foot. And as we inhale, let's pull out the armpit from the hip. So imagine that your right hip and your right foot are moving back and down into the earth, anchoring that supporting element of earth energy. 
And then as we inhale, we have that air element lightening up the body. One more big inhale. Exhale, slowly bring it through center. Let's bring both hands to the waist for support. Turn the left toe in. Let's turn the right toe out. So the wider the stance, the more pressure it's gonna put on the hips and the back. At any time, if you're noticing pain or discomfort in your hips, back, pelvis, sciatic nerve, just take maybe just a little bit more conservative stance, practicing a little moderation in the practice. From here, let's take the arms out, turn the palms up, little bend in the elbows, holding our casual expression of our warrior two pose, maybe extending out with that right hand. And as we inhale, let's scoop up the breath, reaching towards the sky, lowering that left hand to your hip, or reaching for the outside of your left foot. We could always bend the elbow instead. As we inhale, we continue to lunge into that right leg. Inhale, pulling up from that right armpit, looking over our back left shoulder. Exaggerate the breath under the armpit, through the ribs, inhale. One more expanding breath on the right side of the lung. When you're ready, relax the hands. Let's place our right hand on the right thigh and maybe take that left hand down to your hip or you can bring it up or even over the head. There's plenty of time to experiment with this. One of the most common um, distracting sensations. If you have that left arm over your head, maybe notice what the neck is doing. It's very common for the neck to get tight or uncomfortable when we lift the arm overhead like this. So if you're noticing discomfort in your head or neck, go ahead and lower that arm down. We want to make this more about the stretch on the side hip, moving up through the side of the lung more than anything going on in the head or the neck. Now, if you notice that you're coming forward, maybe the posture feels a little constricted, straightening out that right arm. So we prop up and continue to lengthen through the frontal plane of the body. No matter where you are with that left hand, become aware of the energy in the outside of your left foot, pressing back and down into the earth. Aware of the energy on the outside of your left hip. That's an energy also pulling back and down. As we inhale, we come up with the armpit. And maybe there's a little bit of a side bend with this. We're just avoiding a contraction forward. So it's okay to have a little bit of a side bend as you open that side of the body. We have that right hand on the thigh, away from the knee joint, no pressure on the body. Inhale, opening through that side rib. One more time, big breath in. And when you're ready, exhale, relax through the body. Let's lower the hand, slowly come up through center, reposition the hips and the feet. Let's bring the feet into about hips width, maybe even pelvis width. So hip width in yoga can be interpreted as finding the width of the fleshy hip for a stance or find the width of your pelvis bones. No matter what you choose, once you find a foundation for the feet, bend the knees a little bit, and let's see that the knees go in the same direction as usually the second and third and fourth toes, second, third, and fourth toes. Why? Because sometimes the big toe has like a mind of its own and it, one goes one way, one goes the other, but move in the same direction as the second, third, and fourth toes with the knees. When you're ready, let's inhale the arms overhead, extended mountain, option to lift through the ribs, maybe even look up towards the sky. Let's exhale, sweeping the hands back and around. Draw your hands forward with the palms up into chair position, at the most having the hands at about shoulder height. When you're ready, pull the elbows back, Inhale, big chest expansion as you open and reach extended mountain, looking up to stretch through the throat. Exhale, sweeping it back, 
palms up to about shoulder height and sitting back into chair pose. Let's try a couple more like this. Inhale, arms overhead, pause at the top of the breath, pull up the muscles in the pelvis, exhale, keeping those muscles contracted in the pelvis. Adding in Mula Bandha, root lock. Inhale, coming up, top of the breath, pause, pull up the muscles in the pelvis, keep those muscles engaged, exhale, slowly come down. Relax the pelvis. Let's add in a breath to this where you're gonna exhale like you're trying to whistle. Inhale, pause, pull up the pelvis. As you exhale, exhale from the mouth. Let's try a few more like that. Inhale, inhaling through the nose. Pause at the top of the breath. Pull the muscles up in the pelvis, act surprised. Hold those muscles, exhale from the throat. Like you're blowing out candles, like a hundred candles. Couple more, inhale. Top of the breath, contract through the pelvis, exhale. Let's try one more. So you may notice the exhale taking longer. That's exactly what we want. These longer exhales, longer exhales used to tap into the relaxation response. Let's hold it here in chair, come down, place the hands on the thighs, lift your left heel. Lower that foot, lift the right heel, let the weight shift just a little bit left and right. Couple more times on each side. Little lift of the left, lower, lift of the right, hips are back, spine flat, lift the left, hips back, spine flat, lift the right. Both feet down, option to lift both heels, just enough to slide a credit card under the feet. If you want, experimenting with bringing the hands up on top of the hip, maybe even palms up. This is where our chair flow began today. Palms up, hands at the most at shoulder height, hips back, sitting back into a chair. Three, two, one, relax the feet, relax the arms. Inhale, reach it up overhead, extended mountain. Exhale, hands to the heart. Good, let's shake off the legs, shake off the arms, maybe even roll out the ankles a little bit. So let's take this into a standing balancing pose this morning known as airplane pose or a warrior three pose. So I'd like to give you a visual first in case you have to reposition yourself in the room to adapt the posture in some way. Let's get a clear visual on um, what we might be expressing today. So it can be done with both feet on the floor. Got my spin bike here. This is my prop today. You can use a wall, a chair, a table, a kitchen counter, desk, whatever you have. So from here, I'm just shifting forward and then lifting the back leg. If you'd like to experiment with maybe taking one arm away, you can. You can plant both feet, take both arms out, maybe even both arms out with that leg up. If we're close enough to a wall, or to some other means of support. You can always keep one hand, either one, on some sort of means of support while you have one leg lifted. So this is either airplane or warrior three. You can call it either one of those. Another option in using the wall is to face the wall and then coming onto the wall, walking the hands down, hips back, back is flat, taking one leg back, and then maybe whatever leg is on the floor, take that arm out, 
and then your other arm out. So let's take a little, let's take just a moment and experiment with it. Of course, you don't have to use a wall or a chair. You could step one foot forward, one foot back, and just come down like a swan dive halfway. Lift the back leg, arms out to the side. Continuing to breathe easy. Resisting the urge to open the hip, keeping the hips squared towards the floor. Soft through the standing knee. One more easy breath here. So maybe holding up to half a minute. You can go in and out of that pose, a little bit like a rocking horse at any time. When you're ready, let's lower back and down. Taking our time to switch sides, experimenting with our airplane slash warrior three. Exhaling the hands down, shifting forward. Peeling up that back foot is an option, releasing one or both arms is an option. Noticing if our hip is trying to open, resisting that urge, squaring the hips slightly. Lengthening through the spine, feeling as if you're being pulled back by your foot and the heart is being drawn forward and up, maintaining a nice neutral spine. You can always go in and out of the pose. Allow the body time to reset to ground and then maybe pop back into it. A couple more easy breaths. When you're ready, slowly relax both feet. Relax the hands, the arms, and the shoulders. Let's take our feet out and bring the hands down onto the thighs, flat back. Three lion's breaths. Inhale. Last one. When you're ready, slowly come up. So let's take a moment if you want to find some water or maybe run to the back and then come back. Go ahead. It's like a little one minute yoga intermission as we make our way down to the floor. To safely come down, we can hinge from our hips using a chair, a bench, a wall, anything close by, taking one foot back at a time. Let's come down either onto our knees in a kneeling position or have a seat back in any comfortable way. We're moving into just a little bit of a, a camel pose to open up the muscles around the chest and the belly. From wherever you are, let's bring the arms up and overhead. Make fist with the hands. Exhale, pull the elbows back and around, placing the flat part of the knuckles on the low back. If you want, you can actually open the palms and Give a little wider base of support with the hand if that's more comfortable. Long as you feel like it's a gentle touch, avoiding the urge to push into the back. So avoiding the urge to push this way, which forces the hip open. Instead, just gently supporting. Let's lower the chin, the head, and the neck. Let's inhale around the heart. Exhale, hold the chest high. Notice the muscles that engage from the inside out to give us that length in the spine. Inhale, big breath in around the heart. Hold it there as you exhale. The muscles are naturally going to want to shrink and retract through the spine. We're going to work on resisting that retraction. Chin down, inhale around the heart. Hold the chest high. Exhale, notice the muscles tightening on that retraction. One more, inhale. Keep it lifted, exhale. When you're ready, slowly relax your hands, your elbows, your shoulders. If you're not already seated, please take your time, come down to the floor. 
Let's take our knees over to one side. So have your knees bent over to the right. If you start from seated, just like so, let your knees sway to the right and then come over. You could have a pillow under your hips if this feels better for you. So before we start um, moving into final meditation relaxation, let's do one final kind of big detox to wring out the whole body. This is known as our mermaid or our sea creature push-up movement. From here, we have our right hand down on the floor. Let's inhale that left arm up and overhead as if you're trying to like, you know, unscrew a light bulb, a little bit of rotation with that left hand. Inhale, pull up out of the spine. Let's twist towards the right. Walk the hands down to the floor and slowly come down and relax the head and the neck. Rounding through the spine just a little bit. When you're ready, push into the hands or the fingertips. Let's keep the right hand close. Inhale, left arm up. Maybe even twist just a little to the left. Easy breathing. Come to center. Inhale, reach with the left hand. Rotate the palm. Twist towards the right. Let's lower the hand down. Reach with the hands and lower the body all the way down. Relax the head and the neck. Breathe from the throat. Exhale. <sighs> When you're ready, slowly let's walk the hands in and bring the body up. Keeping the right hand close, inhale, left arm up, little rotation over to the left. It's a very gentle squeeze. So maybe just try, oh, 10 or 15% effort on this squeeze. The energy comes or originates from a place so deep in the body that it's just a tight little turn, just a tight turn. When you're ready, bring it through center. Let's slowly bring our knees to center. Let the knees sway over to the left, keeping the left hand close to the body. Inhale the right arm up, big breath in. Reach up and out from the armpit. Let's twist towards the left, bringing our hand down, walking the hands out, relaxing the head and the neck. Little bit of rounding in the spine. Using our hands to slowly prop up the spine. Let's bring that left hand in really close. Inhale, right arm up, big breath in at center, reach. And now tiny rotation over to the right. Little squeeze. Inhale, center. Exhale, big twist. Walking the hands down. Relaxing the head, relaxing the neck, rounding through the body. When you're ready, slowly begin walking the hands in. Let's keep our left hand close, ground into the earth. Inhale, right arm up through center reach, and now little rotation over to the right. Remember, we can lower that hand at any time. Focus on that gentle, gentle twist, 10 to 15% effort. When you're ready, bring it through center. From here, let's slowly Twist a little bit to the left, lowering our bodies down so that we can lie down on our left side. Now, if you know you'd rather lie down on your right, on your right side, please go ahead and do that at this point. From side line, we roll over onto our backs, repositioning the shoulders, the hips, the head, grabbing a pillow at any time for comfort. Let's slowly bring in one foot at a time, supporting behind the thighs or behind the knees. Go ahead and pedal out the feet. Just like you're splashing your feet in the water. Just a little bit of movement through those ankles. Maybe even wet out your toes and then crunch them up. 
Roll out the ankles. Let's take the feet out a little wider than the hips. Then draw the knees back towards your armpits into a dead bug. Also notice happy baby. You're welcome to reach towards the toes if it feels like a comfortable grip. If you're noticing that this is an uncomfortable grip at all, put the hands on the thighs. Comfort first. You can always take this into a gentle rocking action side to side. If you'd like to maybe experiment with this today, cross your left ankle over the right and just add in that little sway so you have that really playful expression of a happy baby pose. You could also cross the right over the left. Noticing if the sensations shift or change in any way when you change the ankle crossing. When you're ready, bring it through center, relaxing the hands, the knees, and the feet. Let your body move in any natural way, preparing you for final relaxation. We may need to stretch out like a stick for a moment. We may want to curl up into a ball or maybe if you want, come into bridge pose for a few easy breaths. That's going to be an inversion for the body if you want to hold bridge as a final pose. No matter where you are, take at least the next minute or so to get comfortable for final relaxation and meditation. In this meditation and relaxation portion, we're going to work with equal ratio breathing and stretching out the breath for the next five minutes. In this first minute, get our timer set up here. In our first minute, only noticing each moment that is passing as you inhale and exhale. And in that noticing, we may want to acknowledge the breath by counting it. So you would exhale all the way, and as soon as we begin to inhale through the nose, we begin to count one, two, three, four, for however long that breath is you count. And then pause at the top of the breath, notice the sensation, and then exhale. One, two, three, four. Exhale, notice what does it feel like with no breath. Then inhale again. So continuing to count, noticing at what point you feel satisfaction with your inhale. At what point do you notice a real softness or a release with the exhale? Just noticing with the count. For the next minute, Let's make the inhale equal to the exhale. So now we're going to shape it, give it a little more mindfulness. Inhaling one, two, three. Exhale three, two, one. You could count faster or slower. The breath could stay in the belly only, counting to three, filling the belly as much as possible or maybe let the breath move through the entire lung. Inhale, belly, ribs, heart. Exhale, heart, ribs, belly. Inhaling through the nose as much as possible. Exhale from the throat, lips touching. Again, when we exhale from the throat, we may still feel air leading up from the nostrils. Let's stretch the exhale out just a little bit. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, four, 
three, two, one. Let's try that a couple more times. Inhale, exhale, four, three, two, one. You can always stay with that. Exhale, four, three, two, one, or add on to the inhale now. So you'll inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Notice a rhythm, notice a volume and satisfaction with the breath. It could be a longer exhale or the exhale and inhale are even, either way. Let's change it up one more time. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Make that exhale just a little longer again. We're slowly, slowly shaping and molding the breath. Inhale for three or four. Exhale for a long count of five. Now, if you want, match the inhale to the exhale. Big inhale, you may have to slow down. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for five, exhale for five. At any time, if this gets confusing or uncomfortable for any reason, breathe easy. Just keep breathing. As long as you're breathing, you're doing yoga. We have a final minute to experiment with this breath. Hold on to the five counts if it feels right, or if you're curious, stretch it out one last time. Inhaling for about a count of six. Inhaling one, two, three, four, five, six. Draw it in. And then exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's try that maybe just two or three more times. This might be the Biggest inhale and the slowest exhale of your day. Really pulling that breath into every possible space, every little nook of the body filled with the life force. When you're ready, exhale, every part of the body contracting, ribs pulled in, low back pulled in, thighs contract, so we contract every bit of breath from the whole body. One more big inhale, move the breath through the feet, through the lungs, through the armpits. Maybe even lift your chin just a little bit, pull that breath across the chest. And now big exhale, one final big exhale, mindfully squeezing every bit of breath. There may be a little tension on this exhale. Pull your ribs in, pull your belly button in, and now relax the whole body and just breathe easy. Relax your jaw. Separate the lower lip away from the top lip. You may want to turn the palms up. Let's tune into an effortless breath. And in closing our practice today, you're welcome to repeat after me, either out loud or with your, your own voice in your own mind, repeating the following affirmations. I am safe. I am safe. I am creative. I am open. I am loved. I am heard and understood. I see. And finally, I know what is right for me. 
me. I know what is right for me. Affirming your own divine intelligence. As we conclude our practice today, we take our own divine intelligence from the practice, from the body, from the breath. And we bring that out off the mat and into the world. Let's draw in a deep unifying breath together. Exhale from the throat. I wish you all a day full of peace, full of calm, full of sunshine. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste, everybody. Go have a fantastic day.